Jadeen. Oh yeah, it's Jadeen. Uh uh uh. It's Jadeen. Oh yeah, it's Jadeen. Uh uh uh. Yeah. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Jadeen or whatever. As if you didn't catch my name the first three times, but you know. So, Boris Johnson saying some stupidness again. So now he's saying that I'll let you watch the video. One more thing, because I was going to tweet about this, but I just want to say that, uh, and, and, and they're trying to restrain me from saying this, but I, 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 if it is correct, which I cannot believe that it really is, but if it is correct that the BBC is saying that they will not sing the words of Land of Hope and Glory and Rule Britannia, as they officially do at the end of last night of, of the pond. I think it's time we stop our cringing embarrassment about our history, about our traditions, and about our culture. And we stop this general bout of self-recrimination and wetness. I wanted to get that off my chest. The UK history, the English history of of um plundering, raping and stealing um, apparently should be forgotten, we should just get over it um, and the songs that he's talking about so he's talking about uh, Royal Britannia, I had to look this up because I don't, I don't watch UK proms, okay I, I have no idea who they are or what they do or I, I mean, I don't know so I looked up the lyrics and Royal Britannia, um, it's basically, <sighs> goodness me. Hey! The nation's not so blessed as thee, must in their turn to tyrants fall, while thou shalt flourish great and free, the dread and envy of them all. Mm -hmm. To tyrants fall, while thou shalt flourish great and free, the dread and envy of them all. Still more majestic thou shalt rise, uh, sorry, shalt thou rise, I can't even read this. Anyways, you get the idea, so Royal Britannia is basically um, talking about how, how they can conquer everybody. The Land of Hope and Glory is also another song that they uh, use to close the prom. So that's basically the same. Oh, we're so mighty, blah, blah, blah. Um, and to tell people to kind of get over it, I just think, who are you, first of all? need these these uh colonizers descendants to stop telling me as a descendant of a slave what i should be offended by so yeah they'll never be slaves well guess what you enslaved many millions okay killed many millions okay so um the fact that they haven't been held accountable I'm getting vexed so they haven't been held accountable which is why people are kicking off so much now in 2020 but we should get over it though listen don't tell me what I should get over okay Boris okay don't tell me what I should get over at the end of the day I'm triggered as hell because it's not about the songs right the fact is is that it's this mindset that things that are in that are from the past like these songs are obviously not something that's been written recently these these are songs from the past and you're basically saying that we we don't have a right to be offended 
and we do have a right to be offended so i'm gonna need boris to just listen to his pr people and just keep it keep quiet and shut up because at the end of the day people have died because of the mentality of these songs we are better than everybody else we are civilized and you are not do you understand so at the end of the day go have a tall glass and shut the fuck up okay i ain't got time for it excuse my language but i i, I really i just i'm so i'm so over this mentality that that our our pain is not recognized our upset is not recognized but you know oh well society they're they're they're, they're taking all this response they should have taken responsibility a very long time ago so if that doesn't make you feel uncomfortable and it makes you feel like we should just get over it as um people that are of um descendants of of slaves and slavery then i'm gonna need you to just step down because obviously you're not a progressive person so that's my take on it have a very <laughs> no but that is my take on it i just don't want to leave angry because i'll be that angry black woman you know that old that old chestnut so i'm not i'm not an angry black woman i have an opinion and i am allowed to express myself and if that means I get loud, then let me get loud, basically. But at the end of the day, people, please, for the love of God, stop telling me how I should feel. Thank you. Anyways, have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Have a blessed life. You see me? And I'll see you next Wednesday, girl. Bye, hun, sweetie. <laughs> and nobody come for me either. Nobody come for me because say, me now have no me a cup. And it's been a very long few weeks. Okay? And I'm about to do a video on some products that I've been using recently on my skin. So that's a whole other story. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching, by the way. Bye-bye. It's Jadine. Wait. It's Jadine. Oh, yeah. It's Jadine. Oh, I can't speak. Why are you lying for? You know you want to see me again. You know it. You know it. You know it.